China's central bank cut its one-year benchmark lending rate on August 21st to stimulate credit demand. The move comes amid growing concerns about the country's weakening currency and the need to revive its economic growth. The world's second-largest economy has faced challenges in its recovery due to various factors, including a struggling property market, sluggish consumer spending, and a decline in credit growth. These issues have prompted authorities to consider further policy stimulus measures. The one-year loan prime rate, or LPR, was lowered by 10 basis points from 3.55 to 3.45 percent, aimed at encouraging borrowing and spending. However, the central bank surprised markets by keeping the five-year LPR unchanged at 4.20 percent. Despite the rate cut, most Asian markets experienced declines on August 21st, reflecting investors' mounting concerns about the overall economic outlook for China. Junbei Liu from Tribeca Investment Partners, told the BBC that while the rate cut might not have a significant immediate impact, it signals that Beijing wants to revive the economy. Liu said, We will need a bigger stimulus package to boost confidence and, in turn, drive up consumption and growth. Without it, the economy risks faltering into deflation, which will be harder to revive. China's economy has faced multiple challenges following the global pandemic which led to widespread lockdowns worldwide. Recent developments in the country's property market, such as Evergrande's bankruptcy protection filing in the U.S., have raised serious concerns. Evergrande, the world's most indebted firm, has been working with creditors on a restructuring plan. Another major property developer, Country Garden, warned of a potential loss of up to $7.6 billion for the year's first half. These issues, combined with China slipping into deflation for the first time in over two years, deepen the country's economic landscape.